The work of more than 220 of the state's most talented artists will be on display this weekend at the New Mexico Arts and Crafts Fair at Expo New Mexico. And Ron Berman is the executive director of the New Mexico Arts and Crafts Fair, joining us with the details this morning. Hello there. Good morning. And Barbara Woods, a featured artist, joining us as well. Thank you so much for both of you being here and for bringing us this gorgeous art on our set today. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk about this first. The New Mexico Arts and Crafts Fair is the longest running art show in the state and is exclusive to New Mexico artists. So why does the show cater to New Mexicans and to the artisans and uh, arts and crafts people of the state? It's primarily uh, uh, we have so much talent here in New Mexico, mm -hmm. it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to bring outsiders in. I like that. Uh, it's nice to keep the dollars in our state and, uh, and support our uh, hard workers. And I'm so glad that we have a show like this where we can really make the awareness, you know, for, for everybody out there to realize because it is so important to highlight the talent of our state in itself. And so let's talk a little bit about some of the highlights that we can expect from this year's fair. This year we'll... Uh, uh, we've got a kind of a recycled show. Okay. Uh, the keynote is uh, all recycled art, nice. and uh, we even have a. There's a turtle that uh, some of the uh, school kids made. That is, it's about 12 feet across. It's oh. made out of out of old shopping bags oh and various gosh. things. Uh, we have over a thousand entries in our youth exhibit this oh, year. Oh, that's great! I love that you get and, the kids involved. Uh, we have uh, all kinds of workstations where they can play and and learn art. Uh, ceramics, painting, that kind of thing. Fantastic. We have the uh, artist demonstrations that go on uh, just about every hour of so the show. So we can actually watch the process and not just, see the, not just see the results. Absolutely. And then, uh, as you said, we've got over 220 artists this year, 205 booths. Uh, we have 60% uh, uh, of our artists are from outside of out the Albuquerque area, so okay. it is truly a New Mexico show. Oh, yeah. And we have season. almost 60 new artists this year, so Fantastic. it's their first time at uh, doing a show. Isn't that wonderful? What an exciting event for them. And so you've brought along some pieces to showcase for us today. What have you brought for us that we can show our audience? Uh, we've got uh, our featured painter oh, this year is a uh, Jennifer Cavan, she's out of uh, Angel Fire okay. and uh, does really spectacular stuff, kind of very very reminiscent of the, the Northern Hills, uh, uh, Taos area, that you know, kind of thing. I, I don't know if the viewers really understand. I mean, I, I don't know if the, if the television is bringing justice to this picture. I mean, it is beautiful art, guys. It is spectacular. I would imagine that based on the light that is on, and I know that's a big thing with all artwork, obviously, the light that's on the actual piece, how it reflects differently. I would imagine that based on the lighting in in on that actual picture that it probably changes the look of it, doesn't it? Sure. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And I want to mention something else. The art show I heard is juried, but I'm not an artist personally. I don't know what that means. I'm sure a lot of other people are wondering as well. What does juried mean? It's uh we get so many more people that want to be in the show than we have space. Okay. So we uh, go through a jurying process. Everyone oh, okay. has to put in uh, five images, and then we have jurors, five jurors that look at that in, Jul in January. Oh, okay. And that makes sense, then. Uh, they will, by their scores, they will pick out the people that will actually be in the show. Got it. And okay. so we'll usually end up with people that are in the show, and then we get some standbys in case we have some cancellations. Great. But it's. Uh, it does keep the quality of the show way up. Right, too. I would imagine. Yeah, and okay, so we got to that beautiful piece of art. There's obviously a lot of other pieces you've brought with us. Can you tell us about some of the other things we're looking at? We've got uh, on the table here, we've uh -huh. got a couple of pieces by uh, uh, Drew Caduti and uh, uh, Kevin Burgess. They're okay. uh, renowned tin artists. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that a lot of people don't realize sometimes is that we, we encompass all arts. We have uh, uh, we have artists from uh, Acoma, we oh, have yeah. tin artists, we have carvers, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. So it's uh, not just contemporary, sure. but uh, traditional arts and that. Something for everyone, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and, and what is this? Uh, this is uh, one of my pieces. It's, oh, paint, it's uh, painted silk and ceramic. Can I pick it up? Yeah, please do. Um, Show us. That's gorgeous. This is a sconce that hangs on the wall and it actually lights. Oh my gosh! But so you incorporate the you really incorporate the light. So yeah, I was talking exactly. about light. My goodness. Yeah, it has a a, a cord. So that you oh, okay. Can so you can plug it in. Plug okay. It in. And I know over here, this one is yeah. actually. Can I? Yeah. Turn it on. <gasps> there. Ooh! Oh my gosh! Look how beautiful that is. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? 
So you actually, you really do bring art to light. <laughs> Thank da -da -da. You. No, but da -da -da. seriously, it's absolutely beautiful, Barbara. What, what's the work that goes into something uh, like this? I can't even imagine. Well, this particular piece, I do start with white silk. Okay. I um, stretch it flat across my studio in very tightly taunt position. Okay. I put a resist line, which is wherever you see these lines, mm -hmm. um, goes on first. Okay. And then I take a paintbrush and actually paint all the color. Wow. Um, after this, it's gone through that process, the fabric goes into a steaming chamber. It steams for an hour, and then it goes into the washing machine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the final step is to back it with a, um, a plastic backing, which allows it to uh, stand up. It's so creative, and it's so different and unique. I'm so glad you're going to be yeah. a part of this show. That's fabulous. Thank you for bringing oh. that. And then the and head is, is this? this is ceramic. Okay. And um, it's hand-built in my studio with clay. Wow. And so I have a form that I uh, drape the clay over, sculpt it, and carve it, and Amazing. then fire it in a kiln. And so that is the basis that holds the uh, pieces. This is a wheel thrown base oh, on okay. the lamp on the table. With my glass, so you can really see it. You know, I really love talking to the artist because, you know, for those of us who are not, it's just amazing to, to hear about the whole process and how much work goes into each and every piece. And it really teaches you appreciation for Thank what you. the artist does. And I really appreciate you bringing that. And I want to also mention that this year, the Ferris Keynote exhibit is actually focusing on the recycled art theme, as you mentioned. Right. So, you know, we are going to have an exhibit and an artist specifically. Can you tell us again about that? for the theme? Uh, well, the, uh, there's not a specific artist oh, okay. in the keynote. There's actually 35 artists oh, that are participating 35. in okay. the keynote. Got it. Well, this quilt that we're looking at right here, this is actually going to be one of the things on display at the silent auction area. And so we're going to see several items being auctioned off. What are some of the other ones? Uh, the artists will all, uh, most all, everybody in the show donates a piece to the silent auction. Nice. And we actually uh, uh, take part of those proceeds and donate those to the Roadrunner Food Bank, okay. El, uh, El Ranchito, Los Ninos, nice uh, a lot of different things. And uh, so it's kind of a nice way for the artists to give to the show and Aww. the show to give to other people. Yeah, everybody's giving back in their own way. So we know that the proceeds from the silent auction are actually going somewhere great. That's so good to know. And also the fair encourages and supports the youth, as you mentioned. So let's remind families that also that the show is going to take place at the Manuel Lujan building at Expo New Mexico and the doors are going to open on, tell us. It opens tomorrow, Friday, okay. 10 a.m. till 9 p.m., Saturday, 10 to 5, Sunday, 10 to 4. Fabulous. So plenty of opportunity to go on out, support the community, support the artists, and get something wonderful for yourself in the process of it all. Thank you both so much for Thank being here. For Thanks for all your work, and I wish you tons of luck at this Thank show, you. really. And I have a question for you. Has Bear Medical Spa discovered the Fountain of Youth? I sure hope so. Find out next.